Hey everybody, this is Joby, and today it seems that every construction worker in the world is outside of my house doing something very noisy. I have no idea what it is, but it's incredibly noisy and incredibly annoying. So I'm sorry if you guys can hear it. I have to make the video. This is the time to do it, and they have decided it is time to annoy me. <laughs> That's the thing about living in Taiwan. It's really peaceful here. Random violence is almost non-existent, but noise pollution, it is insane. We have the garbage car, makes this crazy loud noise. It's like a song played on an 8-bit MIDI player. It's like listening to video games off of a Nintendo, but it like... 140 decibels have these ad cars that drive by and they just make incredibly loud noises motorcycles so that's definitely a downside what are you gonna do forget about it so anyways you can see I had a couple of people who were extremely upset that I crushed up the book stack so I went ahead and bought it I actually wouldn't have crushed it if I had known it was this huge. I didn't know it was giant like that. I thought it was small. And the cool thing is, you can actually... Okay, I thought you could... Hey, you can. You can climb on it. Huh. Huh. So it's like the Olympics. Let me see if I can get to the top. Come on. If you can get to the top, that would be amazing. So today, I had um, put a bunch of the Crafty Alfique armor into the trader and guess what it sold every bit of it so we've got 27,000 that was like 30 I guess I took the money from this one. Oh no I just did <laughs> and then 23,000 23,000 and 30,000 for the breaches so like I said all you need to do is go and farm northern elsewhere and that is where you will get the crafty alfie impenetrable armor let's go sell some more of this let's do it and see let's just run a test so i've got two of those i'm just going to take one shoes ah what the heck yeah i'll just do that one tomorrow unlock this one take those i have two of those i'll just take one because if you put in two it's like you're competing with yourself so yeah that's it okay let's head to the trader okay so I'm at my trader and the construction crew seems to have left I guess they had to busy appointments smoking cigarettes and taking naps so they had to leave and go somewhere else to make a lot of noise <laughs> hopefully hopefully they won't come back so I'm gonna put this into my trader these crafty alfie pieces and let's go to sell first one will be the robe I'm gonna get 30,000 for that let's see well, I'll get more now one here we go let's do 30 let's do 33 there we go next piece shoes let's do it again same thing 30 33 and then I get 30000 because there's a fee. <laughs> a lot of the money from that is uh, just a gold sink. It's the game trying to destroy the gold in the game because it's like a pseudo economy and there's not really anything being made. So what happens is there's too much gold in the game and they just try to get rid of it. Like when you fix your gear and stuff like that, that that gold just disappears into the the ether of the internet I want to go there okay so we do again 33 30 3 yep. do I have another piece I don't think so okay that's it now somebody had contacted me <laughs> on Xbox on the um, the Xbox mail system. I really want to be contacted in-game if that's possible. It would be a lot better. 
it's a lot easier for me to keep in touch with you you guys and uh, this guy had said that he saw when I was going through my inventory list well where are those oh I guess they're in the bank let's look at my bank hold on He had seen something that he liked, and that would be two gold Spriggan's daggers. It's great that he's not shy. But first of all, I didn't offer these daggers because, as you can see, they're both bound. I've used them before. And second of all, even if they weren't bound, I, I wouldn't offer two gold Spriggan's daggers. That's about 250,000 more than likely because you have to use so many tempers to make them gold and um, one is sharp and one is training it's not really that good should be transmuted but that wasn't offered anyway so the things I had offered were the motifs and uh, the different things from the festivals so anyway even if I had wanted to give them to you there's no way I, that I could do that okay so I'm going to change characters right now I'm gonna to go to my necromancer and power level provisioning I had uh, helped a friend today mr. Papa shoe contacted me and sorry just Papa shoe I, th I thought his name was Chinese but I was she but no it is just a German name so anyway he contacted me and I he and his other friend and I did a dungeon today and I helped him to power level his provisioning all the way to level 50. So I'm going to log out and I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, so I'm on my Necromancer now and his uh, provisioning is not high at all. I think it's like probably three. Yeah, there we go. Just three. I'm going to power level him, but I noticed... There's probably a lot of people and they only have the base game. So I'm going to probably start doing a lot more base game stuff. And where I am right now is in Stone Falls. So when you get here, I'm in the Inner Sea Armature. I have a quest for here also called Long Lost Lore. You just port to the Harborage. If you've already done the main quest, it's easy to do. This is Davin's Watch Way Shrine. Stone Falls is here. Right below Vardenfell, East March, and above Deshaun. Okay, so I'm in the Harborage. Well, I was in the Harborage. And you just come right over here. This is it. Inner Sea Armature. What we're going to do is we're going to get recipes. Okay, so we're inside here. And I, I have to re uh, retrieve four tomes for the quest. And the quest itself is... I don't even remember what it is. Let me see. Where is that? Oh, down... It's probably in, oh, it's a guild quest. Hi, it's the Mage's Guild, and Velaste wants me to perform a task for her. And these are the, the four tomes. If you click on the X, that's where they'll be. And if you just look on the map itself, uh, the boss is down here. Like, when I came in, I'm here. The boss is in this area, and the Sky Shard is here. So let's head up this way. Let's go this way and then up here. And let's get the sky shard and then we'll go down this way. And come in here and then go back and this way get this. And then we'll kill the boss. And on the way what's really important is you're going to... There's a, a lot of um, urns. And urns are the way that you're going to get recipes. And like this. Let's see. Got some Lorcan's Tears. And there'll be some more. What we're looking for are these, just like I picked up there was an urn. You also can get motifs, the dwarven, dwimmer motif. I think mare means man or something like that. Let's see, which way did I say I was going to go? Yeah, I'll just murder these guys real quick. Ok, 
Okay. Let's see if there's any pots back here. Nope. Oh, there's some. Okay, we go here. Lockpick. There we go. Rabbit peel off. Which I have already. That doesn't matter. I can give it to somebody. I'll give it to give it to Mr. Andrew. Get a little bit of gold. I'm gonna go this way. And I'm gonna go left. Probably some more gold. Poisons I don't really care about. <clears throat> no, we're looking for those pots. That's really why I came in here was to to find those jugs. The Dwimmer jug and the Dwimmer uh, urns. Anything that's like a container. Oh, there we go. Floor book. Nice. There's one of them. But it didn't count as a lore book. Here's that's empty. Oh yeah. Let's get all these Come on. Okay, and hit the steam pipe. I do not want those. Sam, I am. Ooh, there's a chest. My leisure domain is not good on this guy, so I don't want to risk breaking it because then that guy, if he's watching me, he'll come over here and get it. Let's see what we got. I'm going to take it all anyway. Just to be nice, anytime you do a chest, you want to take all the contents out of it. Because if you don't, it won't respawn. And then you're just leaving somebody garbage, which is pretty unfair really okay but if you do take it it'll respawn really fast let's look around there's some little spiders lots of those Twitter pot Use my spell skull thing. Kill him. It's a good skill. And the Dwimmer pot, lock picks. Lots and lots of lock picks. Dwimmer jug. You can see there's just crazy amounts of these jugs in this delve. Amazing amount. I might. I might find recipes I don't have. You just never know. It's RNG, but if you spend your time going through here, you will be able eventually to pick up uh, recipes that you need. Clear water. Clear water can sell for quite a bit. And the reason it sells for quite a bit is because more than Lorcan's Tears, because when you get alchemists that are high level, they don't find it anymore. The only place you can find it is in these jugs. Once you're level 50 alchemy. This guy's probably doing the same thing. He's probably farming. He or she is probably farming. Okay, let's just head this way. Go over here. Head out. Oh, there's a sky shard. This dude is thinking he's going to do something to me. Mm -hmm. I think not. See what's in here? A Dwarmer gear. Which you can sell. I'm going to get this sky shard here. Always need skill points. Yeah, see this sconce. I found one of those somewhere. I got one from the New Life Festival, I remember. Tumor jug. Clear water. 
put that in the trader tumor jug you can just see there is just crazy amounts of these of these pots everywhere okay let's go this way let's pick up the books get all my resources back get a lot of lock picks get a lot of dwarven gears guess this guy did the did it already okay, what's in here it's another gear no that guy's definitely not farming this because he's just leaving these these pots now see orcish trunk heavy and it's blue that's good I might put that on in the bank for my ooh, Dwimmer scraps okay now Dwimmer scraps the thing I just picked up ten of those makes a Dwimmer frame oh you can sell those those go for about two thousand each or more and you need them to make anything from uh, Clockwork City not anything but a lot of the stuff from Clockwork City needs that. Tattered note. Let's examine it. Okay, where are we going? Let's go ahead and go this way. Head in to this little place. We got some hostels in there. Come on. Come on. Come get some. You dirty bastages. You fog and ice holes. Johnny dangerously. I bet nobody remembers that one. Okay, here we go. Over here. There's a dwarf jug here. Star metal. Yeah, there we go. Common cargo reinforced. You know, you never know what you're going to get, but if you do all the different crafting things like I do, it's always great to just get a lot of recipes or furnishing plants. Either one. Kill all these people. Because they're extremely irritating. I do not want that stuff. Okay, looking for the pots. There's one. Nope. Here we go. Some of the stuff I don't want it. I'll just leave it. I don't care. Oh, there we go. Nice. Another chest. Oh, getting out of practice. Just been breaking it. I'm gonna take all that. So it disappears and then it can respawn for somebody else in a couple of minutes. Because if I just leave something in there, it'll never respawn. Getting lots of Lord Hands tears. But I think you guys can see there's tons of the pots. Tons of these Dwimmer jars everywhere. Why should I give him a chance? Okay. They wouldn't give me a chance. Oh, maybe they would. Who knows? Another chest. Let's see if I can just break it. No. It's three chests already. An intermediate and advanced and one simple. That's pretty good. All that armor you can sell it to, like shulks. This the sun armor comes from here. That's a fun set. I never look in the crates. I don't have enough space. Oh, here comes the ad car. I'm sure you guys can hear that. Such a lovely noise. Okay, 
this guy's give me again. That guy was like he had Xan on or something. Seemed like. I'll only take the armor if it's ornate and it's, you know, 100 or above. So it's in here. Nope. And we're going to go left. inside that room that's like a lot of pots a lot of those jugs here take all those lock picks whoops God. these guys are going crazy some resources let me see there's no oh, that's empty There's a book. Okay. Tumor pot. Yeah, there we go. Rose corn. Tumor pot. Lock pig. Lock pig. And another one. Lots of lock pigs. Should be glad you have them, though, if you're trying to do chests when you run out it is brutal okay, so we're going this way down to the boss oh I missed one where is it oh there it is okay yeah the boss is down here it's like a one of those ball robots down here somewhere there it is is as good as the dragon leap. You see him hitting them. Now the boss is it doesn't matter if you don't take everything. It's not going to mess anybody else up. He'll still respawn and you'll be able to you know somebody else will do it. But chests, they will not respawn if you Well done. I am Shalador, young one. Oh, this and I think you'll do Return that book to the lost. Tell her fire will show her the words. Okay, so I think this is, yeah, Long Lost Lore. This is the Mage Quest, the Mage Guild Quest. Not the books, but the actual quest line itself. Oh, that's cool. That thing you can buy the plan with Master Ritz and then you can end up making it, but it like takes a bunch of Dwimmer frames to make it. It's crazy. So, this place is, uh, it's great to farm. Where is this guy? Oh, these dudes. Okay, here we go. I just want some kind of spammable. And there's a lot of, if you want provisioning items, there's a ton over here. Lots and lots and lots of stuff. Get all this stuff. Then you just go back around. Port somewhere. And then come back. And it'll be refilled again. All this stuff will respawn. Poor old dude. He's having trouble. Okay, so let's look around. Mostly it's that big room. You want to come in here and just walk around. This is how you do it. This is how you farm the recipes. And let's go ahead and head back to my house. 
I'm going to power level this guy all the way. Okay, so I'm back in my house. And let's see how much stuff I have in my inventory. 138, it's all right. Here we go. Now my craft bag still has a bunch of stuff inside there. You can see my provisioning is three. We want to look. I know a lot of recipes because I always just pick them up, you know. And uh, level 35, whoa, if I could do that, that'd be good. But I think it's because I need improvement three. Do I have a lot of that stuff? I sure do. Uh, small game. I don't want to use that, though. That's 15. Let's see what else I got. You want to do the highest recipe you can. 10. Yeah, those I'm not going to be able to do them. One, one. Let's look at the drinks. Maybe there's something higher. 10, 15. Jasmine tea. Let's see. I want the highest one. That's pretty good. Let's do these ginger rose teas. And I'll do as many as I can. I'm just going to end up trashing these on some. If I do 200, let's see what happens. 200. Let's see how high it goes. Come on. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Come on, come on. 20. <laughs> 31. Not bad. Let's do another 200. Okay. From 3 to 31 with one button press. That's not bad. I know you have to have this stuff, though. I've been playing a long time. I've done several ESO Plus free trials. So, I have lots of stuff inside my craft bag. Like I said, I can't take it out. I can't put it in, but I can take it out. Okay, here we go. Come on, 50. Sound like some kind of degenerate gambler. Come on, 50. Oh, 41. Not bad. Let's do it again. Here we go. The reason I'm only doing 200 at once is I don't really want to just waste this stuff and make it for no reason. Because I'm just going to sell this stuff to my trader. So. Oh, there we go. One, two, three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. As you get higher up, it gets harder, you know. Lotus and lemon. Let's do another. Should I do this? Ginger rose tea. Rose. Yeah, I'll do this one. Well, let's look for another. See, do I have another level 15? Yerba mate and Ising glass. I'll do this one. Coffee. Okay. Another 200. Should do it. I'm going to try 100. 100 should do it. If you don't have the materials, what you need to do is go to a place like, I'm going to show you guys the ball mats. Not today, but I will show you. That's it. Master Provisioner. You know, if we go to skills, if I wanted to be a provisioner on this guy, which I do not, I'm just doing it to show you. I've got everything. See? Now, hireling is really good as soon as you can get that. Go ahead and put the points in there because every day it will send you stuff. And a lot of times they'll send you Frost Miriam if you're level 50. Frost Miriam and Bevez Juice, which is uh, like a, for making gourmet recipes and stuff like that. Like I said, this guy, I'm just trying to show you guys how to do it. I do not want him to be a provisioner. I have two level 50 provisioners that know lots of recipes. And my main knows pretty much everything in the game. Since I got Mythic Ethereal Ambrosia, I can't even think of any recipe I don't know. Maybe a few, but nothing I would really use just for completeness. So that's it. That's how you do it. And for the materials, the Vile Mance is a public dungeon. That is going to be the place. And in fact, that's what I'll do tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to show you where you can get the most provisioning items. 
That place is crazy. It's a kitchen. Just go in there and pick up all the stuff. Get it. It's insane. So give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the content. I appreciate everybody's support. All the messages pouring in. Just really so heartwarming. Thank you all so much for watching and giving me all the positivity. None of that toxic crap in here. <laughs> And if there's anything you'd like to see, if you want to learn how to do something, if I know how to do it, I'll definitely make a video about it and show you. So until that time, let's get paid.